uh, this is a short video clip about the uh, Batavos batteries. The ones like uh, that look like this. The Made in China by Filion. This is a manufactured crescent uses in Sweden. Uh, I think it's called Axel Group or Access Group, uh, the importer of these battery packs. Batavis is not that big in Sweden, but I haven't seen that many bicycles in Sweden, but I know they are huge in the uh, rest of Europe, at least in uh, Holland, where they are from. And this is the most common battery I uh, get, get to repair. They use the same, um, they use the same stupid 5-pin uh, connector. And the only reason they're using this is so that you have to buy an original charger from them, manufactured by Fullion, that they can charge whatever they want for, maybe it's 70 or 80 bucks or even more. But that's not the problem with this. Um, I've done another video where the BMS gets really, really hot, like 70 or 80 degrees. Another problem with these batteries is that they have poor spot welding. I usually notice this when I remove the strips and I notice there is no resistance at all in these welds. This weld and this weld is not connected to the cell. I think th these two welds were not even connected to the cells. They were loose and I've seen this a couple of times in these Batavos batteries. Meaning that you have a significantly drop in capacity. If one of these cells are loose you will lose 25%. If two of these cells are loose, you will lose 50% of the capacity and get a very uneven battery pack which eventually will stop charging or working at all. So if you have a sudden drop of capacity in your Batavos batteries, then this might be one of the things. However, it's very difficult to fix. Batavos will definitely not fix it for you. You will not be able to use your warranty for this. Uh, maybe you can, it depend, usually depends on where you bought the bicycle, if they have a no fast warranty or something like that, and if they actually test the capacity. If you have a Batavos battery, this is gonna be a, be a problem for some of you. Uh, here is another part of the same battery where the welds are so poor that both uh, this cell and this cell have absolutely no connection. And as you can see the marks on the cells are not that big, they have, I, I can almost remove this by hand. Also here you can see this one was loose before I even tried prying it out, so this cell was definitely not connected. This was connected but only by, on this side. So uh, there are some really poor battery packs coming from uh, Filion battery. A big problem with these battery packs, Batavos batteries from Access Group, uh, is that the spot welding is not properly done on all the cells and here you can see a clean example of why this is a problem you can see me bending here with just my finger that this one is not connected to this cell and neither is it on the other cell this uh, most likely this one has shaken loose during uh, the ride and this is something that is very hard to find and fix because you have to take apart the whole battery pack and this is a common problem with the Batavos batteries and especially on the negative poles. Uh, if you use a spot welder like me you, you know you sometimes need to have different settings on the top side and the bottom side and you need to check that the connection works. And there are a lot of companies that have problem with this. This one might just be attached well enough so that it uh, could pass the QC test at the factory, at the manufacturing factory. You can see in the spot well, this was done by a machine, not a human. W when the battery shakes, this uh, connection start to shake loose. I don't know the date code for this, but I'm guessing 2014. And another problem with these battery packs is um, water coming into them, especially from the rear. Here is the last um, cell group. And here you can see that there has been some water damage. And here you can see even more water damage and maybe even some short circuits. Oof. Also here on the positive sides you can see that there has been a lot of corrosion damaging several of the cells. Uh, maybe even some short circuits but rust and uh, both the sneaker strip coming out is a big problem. Well, water coming in is a big problem. Really how water comes in is anyone's guess because it has um, has no visible point of entry from the rear. This one is um, solid. They have an indicator over here but I don't think water is coming in from the indicator because then the indicator would be water damaged. 
and even in heavily water damaged Batavus batteries I have not seen corrosion on the indicator and the indicator has still been working. Um, the only point of entry would be these screw holes and how water should how water possibly could climb up into this hole past the screws uh, in the large amount needed to make this kind of damage is um, really strange because these battery packs have a rubber list you can see here that there is corrosion all the way over here but it's very hard to tell from where exactly this water comes from but this is a big problem for Batavus batteries and you should be aware of this when riding in rain why is there water damage in Batavus packs and what can they do about this? These battery packs still work with a large amount of water in them. If you know a lot about batteries, you know there is something called heat shrink tubing that encloses the battery pack in a very good way protect it against um, water damage and corrosion. And these battery packs is built in such a way that um, you cannot use heat shrink tubing when, when we're building this. There is just no space around the cells. Uh, I, I know that Bosch and Shimano Steps, they do not use heat shrink tubing and they as well have problem with water coming into the batteries even with all the preventions they make so th this is a big problem for the whole industry when you build battery packs that uh, do not use heat shrink tubing or other lines of protection against water you will see this and most likely it's the screw holes you would probably need a rubber ring before inserting the screws uh, another what the fuck thing about these Batavis batteries are the fuse yes they have a fuse not for charging, but for discharging, and it is lodged here, in the middle of the battery pack. And there's a lot of tape over here, so how are you gonna open this battery pack up without damaging something and replacing this fuse? Of course it's a cool design feature, oh we have made a special secret compartment for the fuse, oh we are so smart. And they use a 30 amp fuse for a 7 amp battery pack, this one should be... 15 if it should, should be match for the rating of the battery pack, but they're using a 30 amp fuse. So th this is another... What the fuck were you thinking? How are you gonna replace that fuse in a short circuit? It's just... Why?